My name is Jeremiah Cook. I'm a 12-year veteran of the Volunteer Fire Service entirely at the Brooklyn Volunteer Fire Department in Brooklyn, Indiana. I'm a State Certified Instructor 2-3, a State Certified Firefighter 2. I hold a degree in Political Science from Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, and a degree in Fire Science, magna cum laude, from the Ivy Tech Community College of Indiana. Today's presentation is on technology in the fire service classroom. Before I begin, it's important to understand my background in the industry, so to be blunt, who is this guy? I have a little over 21 years in education, course development, and instruction starting from 1995 with the Crossroads America Council Boy Scouts of America. I started as a youth leadership trainer working in peer leadership development, instructor development, and peer and adult training. From 2001 to 2003, I was student director of the IUPUI Streaming Media Lab at the Department of Computer Science. We were among the first people in the state to actually start working with distributed education in a whopping 56K stream, roughly a quarter of today's streaming media technology bandwidth. From 2003 to 2010, I did a lot of private sector work surrounding restaurant training of employees, leadership, and action planning for peers and key stakeholders. From 2011 to the present, I've been supporting Indianapolis EMS education, developing computer systems to manage students, and deploy coursework across multiple streams. From 1998 to 2000, I was student director of Innovative Communication Technologies at WUEV-FM at the University of Evansville. WUEV got an Ameritech Innovations grant in 1996 to stream our terrestrial signal to the world, starting between 8 and 24 kilobits per second, roughly equivalent to today's AM radio encoding. We had a beefy stream of 56K back then, which was unheard of 20 years ago in the streaming world. Our first MP3 player had a huge 24 megabytes of storage space for a few songs, and we used it in the field to play music during breaks between games and aud between games and different audio spots and things like that. Like I said earlier, I was student director of the IUPUI Streaming Media Lab, where we encoded and created curriculum for the IUPUI Certificate in Applied Computer Science, which was one of the first hybrid education courses in the state. From 2004 to 2010, I did various small projects to help people build and deploy PowerPoint on various education topics and experimented with many different audio and video streaming formats and servers during that time. I actively used Shoutcast, Icecast, Winamp, Windows Media Player, Real Player, and Zing Technologies to work with streams. And from 2007 to the present, I've done distributed education for several stakeholders, including the Brooklyn Volunteer Fire Department, Indianapolis CMS, and the Indiana Department of Homeland Security. This is an old slide, but as of July, I'll have 12 years in the fire service, starting at the Brooklyn Volunteer Fire Department. I recently moved out of their service area, so I'm between home departments at the moment. Coming up in April, I'll celebrate my eighth year with Indianapolis EMS and logistics section. I graduated from Ivy Tech with an Associates of Applied Science and Fire Science in December 2018. I have a little over a year as a certified fire instructor 2-3 and three years as a certified instructor 1, although my training and leadership roles go back over the last 21 years. I'm a fire and EMS instructor for the National Alternative Fuels Training Consortium and a fire and EMS instructor for the NFPA Alternative Fuels Program. I'm an in-time master trainer for the state of Indiana, a state certified EVOC instructor trainer and an adjunct instructor at Indianapolis EMS. My primary research focus is applying distributed education technology to allow for greater training for firefighters. I also specialize in emergency vehicle operations through the End Time Initiative. I specialize in extrication, traffic incident management, alternative fuels, and hybrid vehicle tactics. Although I'm a bit rusty in those, that's one of my research focus areas. In general, I focus on the use of technology in the fire service or EMS to streamline work tasks to get immediate feedback and big data on a service level. Technology in a fire service classroom starts with an idea. How can we make fire service education better for our students? How can we leverage technology in the classroom to accomplish this goal? For me, my experience in distributed fire service education started with getting Instructor One material out to a group of diverse students in Morgan County, Indiana. 
We had many different shift schedules, departments, volunteer versus career students, and many other different variables in general involved in reaching students effectively. So let's start with an idea of traditional lecture backed by teleconferencing software to allow students to attend from the comfort of their own stations or homes. We archived YouTube lectures so students could review the material in their own time after the lectures had been completed, kind of flipping the classroom as it were. We moved from a traditional in-classroom lecture to a distributed education model, live lectures without classroom assignments to verify learning processes, and we use resources for instructor one in place with the Moodle IFSTA curriculum. We started with a traditional classroom lecture combined with teleconferencing availability. We used freeconferencecall.com tools to distribute lectures, which featured a dial-in number to use to access live teleconferences. So this instructor course that we did at Brooklyn Volunteer Fire Department was built on a career shift, combination shift, and volunteer-friendly schedules. We held it Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 10. We normally finished up by 9. We also went Saturdays from 8 to noon. We normally finished by 10. So the material went a lot quicker to deploy than we originally thought. Lectures were available by three methods, live, webinar live, and recorded on YouTube. The class started with 13 students as a district-funded class. Unfortunately, I didn't meet my thresholds for departmental participation. So the district did not fund that class. So I fully understand the model where sometimes the districts don't fund classes for various reasons. We had one drop due to incomplete homework assignments. A student decided that he didn't want to do the homework and so we dropped him from the class. Four people resigned for personal reasons and eight total students completed the class. Fast forward to 2018, we did a total online distribution of Instructor One sponsored by the Indiana Fire Instructors Association. Eight students started the course, five completed, and three dropped due to personal reasons. It started as an instructor facilitated course where I merely posted the videos to YouTube, got everything into the learning management system, and guided the students through the material. It ended as an instructor taught class because there were quite a few students that needed that personal attention to get through the class finally. Overall, the Instructor One hybrid program has had 21 students, 13 completions, or a 62% completion rate, with all students passing the state certification exam on the first attempt.